Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode two of our 20th season here at RFC Liège. I am the Custard Prophet, and we have just had a huge decision to make. Have I made the right one? I am not sure. We've got a bunch of games to get through. Yes, we have had a, a huge transfer that's happened. And um, yeah, there's been other goings on at the club. Lots to get through. Let's uh, let's dig in. So we're going to start with the, the big event. So you will notice uh, a couple of players have left the club. One, maybe not very surprising. One, quite surprising. Uh, you see here, Victor Fernandez, goalkeeper, been here for forever just as backup. He was on about five grand. So I felt maybe maybe we should be using or someone who is paid like a backup. So we sold him for MVV for 100k. I thought that was a sensible move. Maybe the one that isn't so sensible and the one that is absolutely huge and could completely derail our season is the signing of Udar to Gwenzu. Uh, he's left for 19 million, potentially rising to 25 million and uh, with a 30% sell on fee as well. So we could get a bunch of money from this, but um, at the minute, I'm, I'm worried that we are a little bit light. Um, well, we're very light at the minute in various places. Having sold Kramer and Udar in just one season, that that feels that feels worrisome. But um, what that has done is it has meant that our finance is looking pretty solid. 13 million in the bank. We've got a three million or four million pound transfer budget, and the wage budget has also gone up. So that that is pretty good. In terms of what has been happening in the club, uh, we have asked for an increase in our uh, training uh, facilities and the club has accepted. I'm not sure why it doesn't, hasn't come up there, but we have done that and they have ex accepted. So here, here it is, um, going to cost about £1.8 million. Uh, they've accepted it and uh, it will be finished um, sometime in the summer um, at the end of this season. So that's pretty pretty good our current training uh, is it does need it we have I think we've got average training facilities said so I think that takes it up to good but you'll have to remind me uh, we did try and increase the youth recruitment which I think there's one above that uh, so but they they weren't having that the other news is we're we are starting to fill out our stadium which is pretty cool so perhaps we might have the opportunity to expand the stadium further although i haven't seen that option i have got to see the option to buy a new stadium <laughs> maybe we don't want to necessarily do that we've only been in it 13 years <laughs> it seems a bit a bit of a waste right folks let's have a look how we've got on and let's first of all look at how things are going in the league you can see we are sitting in seventh We've had some great results, played some great, great football. It's it's an interesting league this time around because we're only six points off a surprise leader, Union, um, and uh, only five points off standard. So we are playing really well, but remember, we have just lost our top goal scorer for the last couple of seasons. Well, I think the last time you saw was the away winner over Cotterick, which was very nice. A couple of goals from Julian. We then beat Antwerp 4-0, who were doing quite well at the time. Udar with a brace, Otto and Julian with another. He's playing well. Cracking win over Lierz. Um They took an early lead, um, but we um, they were 2-0 up after not very long. But we stormed back to score four goals. Udar with a couple, Kanna and Otto. And then they scored a late one for a 4-3 win. Against STVV at home, this was a bit rubbish. We took the lead with Julian. Uh, but they got a draw out of it. Against Vaslan Beveren away, it was a 3 1 win. Rice, uh, Julian, and Munier with the goals. Against Anderlecht, then we had a very good run at this point, and then that run was ended uh, where we uh, lost here against um, against Anderlecht. We were 1 all with Udar with a goal, but couldn't quite put things right. Home draw against Ghent pretty good uh, Udar again with goal <laughs> see away against Union who were top of the league at this point Udar with a couple Otto with a penalty so uh, you can see where the goals are going to be lost um, against OHL Udar didn't actually play in this game no he did didn't play very well um, 
1-0 victory. And then we've had a tough little run. We did uh, take the lead here against um, Genk. We were 1-0 up. Rico Bailey with, with a goal. Uh, and then Julian got sent off. We were looking good. And uh, they ended up winning at 3-2. We got back to 2-all and they scored late on just to snatch it. Against Mechelen away, to be fair, I felt we deserved something out of this game. We didn't get it. Lost 1-0. And we just played Club Bruges, beaten 3-1. Valencic with a couple and Otto with a, with a goal himself. So really, really good run of, uh, of games. Can we hold on in this um, top eight, though, given that we have lost our top goal scorer? We will be looking for a replacement in the transfer window. We've got this lad coming in at some point, Ken Bex, uh, who looks a bit of a specimen physically. Uh, look at the, the pace that this guy's going to have off the ball as well. Where is that? 16. So I am super excited about this. And he's, he's all right at finishing. So pretty pleased with this one coming in he's going to come in from Dijon um, he's never really scored a lot of goals from them but I'm not really sure if he's playing up top or what's going on I'm excited to see what he can he can come up with so the squad at the minute is is looking paper thin we've had to up bring up a couple of players into it um, so we've seen uh, Bonnet you might remember him, goalkeeper who's moved up into the squad. He'll be backup goalkeeper. Um, we've also seen, seen Currier, who is someone who's going to provide a little bit more uh, backup on the wings um, because we're lacking there. And Wapatai looks like he might be leaving. So anyway, this is the team we're going with to, to play against um, Standard. We're going with Otto in the, the Udar position with Lecoq just behind him. Valencic and Mulan either side. Mounier is playing alongside uh, Williams with Kraus, Kana, Ries and Bolan across the back line. Metz getting goal. Should tell you that all three of these have extended their loan and Valencic has agreed to sign, not with us, but with Guingamp in France. Uh, so we will be losing him as well at the end of this season. So uh, another one of our solid, solid players. A lot of interest across the team, as you can see. Let's see how we do here against um, standard. I'm not expecting much given the changes that we've had to deal with in the squad. Right then, folks, let's let's go for it. Let's see what we can do here. We've got a lot of players on this pitch who um, might be surprised to be on there, but fingers crossed that the likes of Lecoq can make the most of Udar not being at the club and can start to score some goals. We've got Dreisen and Lecoq who are going to be fighting for that position until we replace Udar. So um, we've also got a lot of other players who, who are kind of sitting behind them as well. I'm not expecting much, but you never know, do you? They're going to have a very strong side and they've smashed us in the past. We could be on the end of a drubbing here given what has happened. Otto's got it. He's been completely taken out. What's happened? Rubio. He's been pulled over to the uh, the ref and he's been sent off. <laughs> That's made things interesting. So Rubio goes off and, uh, well, they're down to 10 men. That Francis Benali, I hope so. Mulan with a dodgy ball there. What are you doing, man? And the goalkeeper makes the save, but what you do not play crossfield balls like that. It doesn't matter how many people are on the pitch. If you've got one player on the pitch, you don't play that ball. It's the most dangerous thing you could possibly do. I can't even remember who it was, so I can't berate them. Viteria, and they've cleared it, and that's it. Right, ball in and over the top. To be fair, we we've got a ball, an extra player on the pitch, and we're still struggling to deal with it. Oh, well, Mulan's got himself sent off, so we've leveled it after 22 minutes. That's fine. Oh, dear me. How many games has he played? Like, one. Christ. So I think we're going to have to put Lecoq on the right. And Julian is not really ready for this, but we'll, we'll have to bring him on. 
We've not seen anything going forward, but here's Valencic. Oh, just switch. I thought he was going far post. He went near post. Chance there. Well, we are going to put shoot on sight on, I think. Um, I think at the minute it makes, makes perfect sense. We're not really getting much options. Let's try and score from distance. Otto's got a decent shot on him, but looks like another chance for them. Go miss. Wow. Well, we're... Is that going to be a penalty? <laughs> it is just all about the fouls, isn't it, today? Looks like it is a big bunch of players there standing behind the referee, calling him names. Come on, no penalty, no penalty. It's no penalty. <laughs> I was expecting something to happen there, but it, it never did. Goris, ball in. Oh, and we had cleared it. But the Rizov uh, fires the back of the net and we are 1-0 down. And we've not really looked very good today. It's understandable. We've got to find our way again. Right, what's happening here? Rice comes on. Williams. Ball in. Not quite. Bolin. Oh, he loses control of that. What an error. He's missed the tackle. That was just open for him. And Peters just pops it in. Dreadful mistake from Bolin, and uh, looks like we are giving the game to standard, unfortunately. I wasn't expecting much out of this when I decided to come back. It seemed the right game, but they have given us a good battering, unfortunately. Back to, back to normal things. We'll see what happens against RWDM. Wonder if Mulan hadn't got himself sent off, what would have happened then? We still looked like we were the second best team, but... You've got to, got to wonder, haven't you? We're going to take Mounier off. Jacques Watt is going to come on. I'm going to bring on him as an advanced playmaker on attack. Just trying to get creative a little bit more. Just not not creating enough. And I want I want more. Right, well, Rice into Julian. Who is someone who can make a difference. Rice with a, Julian with a pretty crappy pass. And again... We have been um, caught short there, caught with our pants down, as it were. They're pressing us a bit, a bit quicker than we like. But Otto's done well there. Valencic is someone who can beat beat his player. Oh my! And he just hits the goalkeeper. He's going to be another player that's going to be a big loss at the end of the season. Right? Is it another chance for? Uh, for them, well, Kraus just a completely uncontrolled header. And Metzger does well. I think, yeah, as players go, he's a very good pickup. So we are going to have a look at what we've got. Praven. Well, he's looking, I think it's probably the right move. Bolan's been pretty mistake ridden. So we'll bring, bring the youngster Praven on. Give him a chance against uh, Standard. We've not looked great, have we? We deserve to lose this. But when you when you go when the when the opposition goes one nil up against you, as we go three nil down, uh, sorry, when the opposition goes one uh, loses a player, uh, send it sent off. The one thing you don't do is get a player sent off yourself. Oh dear me! It's a nice finish though. Not what I was hoping to show you. We have been better than this. We have been a lot better than this, but um, not looking it today. Let me know what you think of the form, though. I mean, that's been awesome to, to see. We've been beating teams that I didn't think we should be beating, but we've been doing it in style. Um, but today, not to be um, a pretty turgid run all round. Metzger played well, but there's not much else to say for the rest of the team. I'm slightly worried where goals are going to come from now. We've lost Udar, but um, let me know if you think it was the right move, getting all that money for him. Um, and um, let, let me know where you think we're going to finish. So, uh, yeah, Mulan. How many games? He's played hardly at all. I think that's his first game. First game. He's not been a good pickup. 
I have to say. Look, Cox still hasn't got a goal. Oh, dear me. I don't know whether he's he's the right man there either. Uh, I mean, he's got no finishing. He's pretty fast. He's got no finishing. I'm not sure whether he's going to develop um, anymore. But he's got, I don't know, we, we've... We, we have to use what we've got really at the minute and, until we can bring someone else. The other option is Dreisen, who can, who's a decent player, I think, and, and has got a little bit more potential to develop. Maybe he's the player we should be playing there. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a, somebody can play in that position, though, very effectively. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Bit of a disappointing loss, but all in all, we're doing really well this season. Um, we need to keep things going and try and figure out how to score goals again because that is going to be an important thing going forward. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.